left your shoes at your house. Yeah, I see them. How could you be so irresponsible, Tony? You know she needs them. How could you not be a good dad? A good dad? Are you kidding me? Don't you remember how much I pay you for child support? Now, I know a lot of bad dads that don't pay anything. Oh, you know that I'm a great dad. A great dad. If you remembered her shoes, you'd be a great dad. It's all my fault. Whatever. You always overreact. If it's that important to you, you just come and pick them up yourself. I'll leave them on the front porch. You come and get them and just leave, okay? All right. It's Attorney Janet Gemmell. Rewind! And let me show you how this should have been done the right way. Hey, I know you're really busy, but do you think you could bring by Samantha Sucker shoes? I think she left them at your house. Ah, uh, I don't see them here. Uh, where did she leave them? Samantha? Yes, Mom? Hey, I have your dad on the line. He wants to know where in your other home you left your soccer shoes. Oh, they're under my bed. Tell Dad I said hi and I love you. <laughs> Did you hear a sniff? The fight she loves you and also the shoes are under bed. Yeah, I found them. Tell her that I love her too. It's going to be tough for me. I'm running late for a meeting. So I put them on the front porch. Can you pick them up? Samantha, Dad loves you too. Of course. Thank you for hunting them down. Have a good day. So what was the key to the right way this time? It was that mom recognized that dad was busy too, and the child had the total freedom to yell and tell dad that she loved him. Hey, did you recognize in the first one that mom was being rude to dad and that it was in front of a kid? And then it made dad be defensive and start talking about how much child support he paid and how that alone made him a great dad. Did you think that fight was gonna go anywhere? No way. When the second one, both parents recognized how busy they both were. And that's the key. So do it the right way.